Hello beautiful people, welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Iman. On this channel, I talk about cake business, I share tips on personal development, entrepreneurship, I do story time, tutorials, vlogs, I share recipes and relocation tips for bakers as well, and you're welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about baking culture shocks that I've experienced here in the UK. Now I know that this is a video that you've been looking forward to and I am excited to share. I recently relocated from Nigeria to the United Kingdom, England precisely, and I want to share my experience so far and the things that I've seen that are quite different from what obtains in Nigeria, in the cake industry in Nigeria. Now if this is something you would like to learn, you would like to hear this baking culture shocks, then I would encourage you to keep on watching because I'll be right back. And you're welcome back. So the first thing I'll be talking about, I have my notes here so that I don't forget, is that you would need to get different cake supplies from different cake stores. Not cake stores per se, but different supplies from different stores. Now in Nigeria, it's a thing that you have a cake store that would have basically almost everything you need. But what I've observed here, which I'll say is a little bit shocking, is that I can go to this store and not see what I want, but somebody else might be stocking it. So for example, I had cost to buy some things when I was going for my class, just as you've seen, if you've not seen the video, I'm going to link it in the description box so that you can see. So I had cost to get a few items when I was going for my cake class. And I had to ask my teacher because what I've seen so far, what I've, you know, experienced so far being here, I had to ask her, where am I going to get this particular item from? And she told me that store. And telling me that store means that I cannot get anywhere. Not that it's, it's it's totally ruled out, but that's one sure place. Let me put it this way. That's one sure place that I can get that item from. So that is it. You might, in, in Nigeria, I can just decide to go to the market and I get everything I want or go to a shop and get everything I want. Like I would see every brand or something to a great extent. I would see brands. If I go here, I'm sure I'm going to see this brand that I would see in the other store. The thing I might just need to do would be to compare so prices. So another example is that I went to Aldi or Aldi, I don't know how you call it, but I think it's Aldi because I regularly shop from Aldi. So I went there to get corn flour. I went to get some baking, baking items and I also wanted to get corn flour, corn flour, which you also know as cornstarch. And I was told that they don't stock it anymore. That's what the attendant told me or the person that works there told me, one of the staff told me there. And she said they used to stock it before that, but they stopped stocking it. Meaning that if I go to that particular Aldi or Aldi at least, I'm not going to find it there. I went to Lidl the other day and I saw corn flour there and I saw corn flour there. So this is it. One of the things that you might need to check different stores for different baking items. You might get it in store A and you might not get it in store B or store C might be popularly known to stock this item than stock uh, than shop A and shop B. All right. So that's one culture shock here. The second thing I've noticed is that, okay, before I came here, I think I, I observed this, but being here, I think I can see more is that um smaller smaller sized cakes smaller sized cakes that are tall yeah are more popular i'll say popular in quotes now this is based on my personal observation i might be right i might be wrong but i know that it is a thing here why because i don't know i don't know really why i think maybe because of the pricing thing or something but i know that smaller sized cakes that are tall are a thing so here. in relation to this in nigeria we have people that want 10 inch cakes 12 inch cakes big cakes for their birthdays and here it's not really the case most times most times i'm not saying it's all the time most times the cakes are based on servings and the number of guests you're going to have in your party or, or something like that or the events but in nigeria no no there's nothing like that so you just make they just you just ask what size do you want or what size are you looking at or they will send you a picture i want exactly the same size like they do in nigeria they will tell send a picture to you sometimes a picture that is not your own most times a picture that is not your own and they'll tell you i want this size exactly this size or they'll tell you want a size 10 size 8 size 12. so in nigeria we make big cakes for events you know you can always share you can always store in your fridge but here i've observed that that's not really the case. They do be cakes, right? So bakers do different cakes, but there are some most 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 bakers most most of what I've seen online, especially on Instagram, is that they do smaller sized cakes that are tall in height. Now the third thing I'm talking about is that they do odd sized numbers cakes. Odd sized numbers cake. Yes, I, I'm, a, I'm right. So what I mean by this, what I mean by this is that they make cakes that are like five inches, 
seven inches cakes <laughs> i don't know about nine but i know of five inches you know i told you they, they, they i observe, observe that most cakes are small sized okay so for my observation before you come for me <laughs> and say you're wrong what you're saying is wrong and all that from my observation so far okay um five inches they do five inches cakes which are a thing they do seven inches cakes in nigeria what we popularly have we have six we have eight we have ten we have twelve so we do even sized numbers okay so you might need to get used to working with all the smaller sized cakes okay i can't imagine working with a four inch cake they even do four inches cakes when i talk about small size not odd size numbers now but can you imagine how small a four inch cake would be some cakes are like that as small as four inches here I can't remember ever doing this for a four inch cake maybe i can't even remember doing this a cake as small as that so they do those kind of cakes here but in nigeria we do even numbers like six eight ten twelve popularly so people can decide to do 14 and all of that but i know that for celebration cakes these are the numbers that most times they do like it's, it's not something that is strange here it's not something that is rare you do odd size numbers cake thing is the turnaround time for cake supplies so in nigeria i know they also have turnaround time what i mean by turnaround time is that today can be monday and you want to make a cake on thursday you can decide to order your topper today being a monday and you can have it delivered on wednesday or you can have it delivered on on tuesday sometimes my people used to make exceptions for me the vendors that i work with used to make exceptions for me um it also works here if you want something urgently you would have to pay for it though okay it also works here but most times like from the experience i i got from my supplies i'm sure you must have seen the unboxing video i did about the cake supplies that i had for my first cake here and the turnaround time i was seeing on some websites on some pages it was just like almost mind-blowing so i want to order a top pie especially if it's custom you have to wait for like one week plus sometimes you have to wait for like two weeks they would state it there that's why it's important for you to read so there are some things that I wanted to get from particular persons or vendors online, but I was seeing that the turnaround time was like, they'll tell you, we are not working this period, we turnaround time is like two weeks, things like that. So it takes a while for you to order these things. You don't just decide, oh, I want to make a cake. You know, in Nigeria, we're used to lastminute.com kind of things. The customers, or our customers most times are just lastminute.com and you just have to like J -j 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 put your head together, rush, rush, rush and get what you can. Um, but here you have to give enough time. So there, there are longer turnaround times for making or buying cake items, buying cake toppers, cake charms, dried flowers, things like that. Okay, so that is number four, number five. <laughs> Number six is that you have a variety of cake items here, cake ingredients. When I mean cake items, I'm talking about cake ingredients. So you have things like, for example, I've seen coconut flour here. You have self-raising flour. It's easy for you to get self-raising flour. It's easy for you to get different items. Like when I went to the store for the first cake that I made for a birthday party, I went, I went to the store and I saw... Uh, these things like like wafers, um, meringue. I don't know what they call it, but they have. Even when I went to Lidl the other day, I saw different things that are ready made that you can just put on your cake. That normally in Nigeria we might have to mold it ourselves or make it ourselves and uh, to use on the cake. So you don't regularly just go to a store and see macaron to buy macaron, macaron, macaron. I don't know the right, the right pronunciation, but here you can just get readily available items, ingredients, toppers that you can use for your cake in stores right is this is this obtainable in nigeria is this something that's obtainable in nigeria please let me know in the comments so that i do just <laughs> i'm not just talking on my own so that is it you can get you can get um i think you can, you can just you, there are a lot of things there are options for you um there is there is caster sugar you can get caster sugar easily i know that these are items that are not just popular especially in cake shops in nigeria so this is the number six baking culture shop that i've experienced or seen here so far. number seven is that the oven oven temperatures are in centigrade now i'm talking again based on my experience so far so where i'm staying currently the family i'm staying currently with their oven is in centigrade yes so i went to my teacher's place to learn and i saw that our oven also was in centigrade okay my house yes my house you heard me right so the oven i have in my house is in centigrade <laughs> okay so this is what i've seen so far so i know that we are used to baking in fahrenheit 350 degrees fahrenheit so this is me 
have would having to learn how to work with centigrade making my case with centigrade or in centigrade degrees I am not used to this <laughs> in Nigeria we have Fahrenheit and then sometimes you just work with your local oven thermometer you just work with your oven thermometer but here that's not the case so that's something I'm getting used to working with temperature or centigrade meaning I'm, I'm having to bake with things along or temperatures along the line of like 100 125 130 140 150 degrees centigrade so that's another baking shock see i've lost count of my numbers but i think this is the eighth thing if i'm not mistaken i don't know um is that you have discount codes that you can work with so when i wanted to get one of the items that i use for my cakes um i saw i was i was already trying to order the item but i saw on someone's page that you could use a discount code so discount codes are a thing here where you can buy something and then get like 10% off, get like 20% off if you have a discount code. So when you go to the website, when you're about to check out, you would see discount codes, um, a slot for you. It's not always the case. It's not always the case. But this particular site I saw on somebody's page on Instagram, someone that is a brand ambassador of that particular brand that you could use a particular code and you'll get 10% off. So I just tried it put that particular code and i got 10 percent off so discount codes i think here is just like saying discount off your item. but in nigeria this is not really really the case <laughs> um this is not really the case i know that yes some vendors have websites and i don't know i don't know much about i don't think that's a thing for us in nigeria where you have to put a discount code and you get some amount off even aside discount codes you get the opportunity to have like free deliveries if you order something like up to for one of the websites I use, if you order something up to for five pounds, you get free delivery. Some would say sixty pounds, you get free delivery. So this is a thing: discount codes, free deliveries, offers basically. So you get offers if you buy these amounts of items or buy this particular amount, you're going to get free delivery. You're going to get this and off, um, some amount off and all of that. So that is another culture shock that I've experienced here. So another culture shock is the prices. Look, like they usually say, at least for the first three months, if you relocate, you'll still be converting. I still convert, but not too much. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into that state of mind, that frame of mind. So I really don't do, I don't, re don't really convert prices. But if I were to convert the price of cake items here, ha, ah, into Naira, <laughs> into Naira, ah, no, 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 no. The price will be high compared to the Naira compared to the naira so that's the disclaimer right there okay so but based on the economy here or things i've seen so far i think people are complaining about prices here as well that prices are soaring prices are increasing but the prices are way way different and if i compare to the naira i might be having a headache <laughs> so i don't just even bother i just buy the things the way i see them and then do my thing so i'm getting to that mindset that pounds mindset or the currency that i'm you know that that's used here that's going to popularly used here and that is what I am working with so the prices are different that's why if you're planning to relocate try and get as much as you can of your items down here a few ingredients as well bring them out down here I know you must have seen my video there are possibly there's a possibility of you bringing some of the things that you need so that you don't have to start buying them all over again especially if you're looking to continue with your cake business I'm going to link this the video up here up here or in the description box so that you can watch the video and know the things that you can bring along and now I don't know if this is really a culture show but you, you can make multiple trips to the store so like with every order or like every two to three orders you will need to go to the store back in nigeria this is not the case i can just buy a bag of flour and store i know that there are people that sell in bulk but i don't really think from my experience so far that it's a thing in nigeria i can just buy a bag of flour buy half bag of sugar keep in my studio anytime i want to bake i just go there measure my thing and use but here you have them pre-measured like the flour i know that it comes in packs of 1.5 kg the sugar the icing sugar comes in 500 grams already pre-packed um what else the the butter already come that's too that's regular but for the flour it comes in 1.5 kg for the ones i've seen so far so you could make multiple trips to the now store. i saved the best for last pardon the dark uh this thing is it's a rainy day here so i saved the best for last i discovered that you can put buttercream in the fridge in fact let me say american buttercream in the fridge and now this is the proper proper american buttercream in the fridge i learned that when i went to my class yes you can put a and b in the fridge that is made with butter not margarine you can put it in the fridge but the thing is that after some time condensation will still set in so it's possible 
yeah it's possible for you to put your a and b c in the fridge that is made of butter but if you bring it out condensation we still set in so like this was a shocker for me because i've always just thought that oh you can't put a and b c in the fridge like you have you can but then these are the repercussions or these are the perks or this is the consequence of putting it in the fridge yes the consequence still applies but then you can basically what i'm trying to say is that you can have a and b c that works like s and b c or that a and b c that you treat like s and b c so these are the culture shocks i think i must have mentioned more than 10 i intended to mention just 10 but these are the culture shocks that i've experienced so far the baking culture shocks please if you have any probably your baker that relocated and you also experienced some of these things or you have different ones that i did not mention please let me know right in the comments and i'll be willing to learn and to read from you thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of the family as well and turn on notifications so that you're notified when i upload a new video if you have questions you can drop them in the comments as well until i see you in the next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed